Welcome back, everybody. Just in time for Easter, Christian Pritchard is here to show us the ultimate Easter family feast. Listen, it's all about family, quality time, oh. food, and for many of us, you know, head into church. It's all that stuff that's yep. good for your soul. That's right. So you and I'm all about feast. the soul food, Dina. Yes. And you know what? And that's you said it because you know any great food is a celebration of family, and this weekend that's really what it's all about yes. too—to be together and everything. So we want to do stuff that's easy but still kind of fun, right? So what I've got first of all is I've got some duck legs. Oh. oh Oh yeah, so we're just we'll want to sear off the skin, and then what we're going to do is get a little, uh, a little bit of wine, a little bit of gavioli from the north of Italy, and then we'll put that in the oven and poach it off after. How right? long like, did you leave the legs? Is it just uh, oil on the base? Yeah, I had a little bit of oil, but it does render a lot of its own fat too. Okay. So you have to be a little bit careful with that too. But you just want to sear it and then put it in the oven and finish it off for about 25-30 minutes. How many Beautiful. minutes per side are you searing it? Mm, four or five, depends on how hot you go in the pan. Okay. okay. Some people get afraid because it spits a little bit, but just if you want to cover it up too, that's fine too. But just be aware of that, that the, the duck fat does spit quite Render. a bit too. Yes. So four to five minutes, flip it once, put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Or so, and then let it rest and boom! Beautiful. What Easter you weekend, okay. you know, it's lovely. What temperature is the oven at? I like to do it about 425. Okay. Some people go 350. Remember, everybody's ovens are different. Yeah. They're not calibrated the same. If you got an avocado one from 1977, <laughs> I'm sure that's a beauty, right? <laughs> It'll work better. And a lot of people also making lamb. Oh, come on. Like, to me, lamb, it doesn't matter your culture, your background. Lamb is where it's at on Easter, <laughs> right? So I've got some rack of lamb. But you know what? I've, I've decided to do something a little fun. Okay. Because off the grill, it'd be amazing. I've got some Calabrian hot sauce and a lot of honey. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that on and just finish it off there too. Ooh, oh, everybody. Oh, come on. It's more than a kick. You'll be like, wow, I think I need two glasses of wine to get rid of this. And see, you don't need the barbecue to do this. No. If you don't have one or you're not comfortable with it or you haven't done the spring cleaning to it yet. <laughs> Does it work just as well, right? Get the cobwebs out. Absolutely. Because you're absolutely right about barbecues. I know. Please clean them. I know. So much you know, it's yeah, it's pretty something else. But this is spicy, so with some great wine, which you know, partake with the family on the weekend, it's wonderful. But just the heat and the sweet of the honey that's in there, amazing stuff, right? How many minutes uh, are you grilling those? Me, I like my lamb. I don't know about you, I like my lamb rare. <laughs> okay, so many people. If you're gonna buy a rack of lamb, like these four pieces are about twenty-five dollars. Wow. Okay, when they're cut, you can buy a whole rack between 35 and 40. Okay. Really good quality. You have to cut it yourself, but they, people tend to overcook it. I like about two minutes aside, very, very hot. Proteins aside, let's exactly. talk about what else you've done. Now, here's something you and I were talking about before when I are faro. Faro. Which is the center grain of wheat. It's something that we should all eat so much more because it's right. so fantastic for you. Very high in fiber. Thanks, but Richard. forget the healthy part. Richard, why did I just talk? <laughs> you always call me Richard. It's Christian Pritchard and I call him Richard. Losing just call it. me Richard. From now on, it's all good. Go on, Joe. <laughs> Frank, it's all good. Ted, I don't care. It's all good. Do you like the faro, uh, Debbie? <laughs> this is really really It's delicious. <laughs> I've been called worse. Is it really? It's really good. It's all good. So we also have the cauliflower and this cauliflower radicchio grapes <laughs> and walnuts that are sugared. That's a really nice with a little delicious. olive oil. Nice touch. Exactly. And then of course the risotto. Do you like the risotto? I now how do risotto. I say risotto? Risotto. Risotto. Wow. Okay. And then we've got a little bit of pickled asparagus, but next month being oh. May. It'll all come in fresh, 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 Ontario, just like the lamb, Ontario as well. Um, you know what? Just a little eggplant, a little piquillo pepper. It's nice. Simple, simple stuff. Heirloom tomatoes are all coming in. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. We get them through the whole year. Hot cross buns. Who doesn't love them? That's what Good Friday is all about, right? You know what right? I don't get? Are what? they like a breakfast thing? Are they sweet or like they are sweet? Do people it, eat them also as a, with savory? I, I would. Okay. I make that into bread puddings or something, but not just the sweet bread puddings. You can also do a savory type of pudding okay. because the raisins will push out some wonderful flavor, right? My brother-in-law is Portuguese, so I'm oh. all about these. These are like my kids' absolute favorite, and that's why we have them there, right? So the no custard touch. tarts, you got to have one of those at the end, too. Um, a beautiful almond cake rolled over with lots of uh, freshly cut and slivered almonds. Just beautiful. Stunning. And then a beautiful flan with Devon custard. Okay, and fresh strawberries. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And then Toroni. And Christian, let's not forget on that side, you have a beautiful rustic looking Italian bread. That is stunning. Break you the know bread. what? You have got to have bread at every meal if you yeah. do an Italian thing, right? 
Oh, yeah. It's, it's just part of the whole, especially at Easter, right? You you're breaking the right. bread, you're celebrating. Have it there. Use it for, you know, not just fresh yeah. days, you know, in. Use it as it gets older, and that's yeah. fine. People just Garlic put their bread, bread away just for breadcrumbs. No, bread salads, crumbs. you know, all sorts of stuff. Yeah. On the top yeah. of the soups, break it up, put it on your pasta. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, Christian, we know that it's Adam Wald's birthday today. Of course, yes. Adam was born leading into a long weekend so he could <laughs> feast and relax. It's perfect. Oh, my Adam, goodness. Okay. As part of your birthday, Celebrations. So we're gonna eat the risotto first. Sure, you want some risotto and fado? Here's some risotto. Truffle. We've got the cauliflower. You know what? Salad over here. Richard is here to help you with whatever you like. Do you enjoy? Do you like lamb? I love lamb. You love lamb. Mm-hmm. Oh, that it's like mushroom risotto is amazing. Well, we'll get into the lamb too in a sec. We'll give one more minute. Cooking the lamb because we want him to be sick on his birthday. That's coming up in a few minutes. Richard won't make you sick. Don't worry, Adam. Happy birthday. Christian might. Yeah. At Chris Cooking for more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Buona Pasqua. Thank you. Oh, for Buona Pasqua. Love to the family and happy birthday again, Adam. Enjoy. We'll be Beautiful. back with more BT right after this. So sweet.